Hi challengers, how's it going? So today I wanted to make a quick video about um, kind of things that might be holding you back, uh, the naysayers, the negative Nancys, and the first thing I want to talk about is, um, you know, why did you start this journey? Why did you get a challenge pack? Why did you decide to be in this challenge group? Okay, I'm going to guess. It's because you want to take care of yourself for once. It's time for you, okay? And so what tends to happen sometimes, like, um, for example, with family, I kind of went through this myself, um, is that your priorities shift a little bit. You still try to fit in everything for your family, but it does get difficult, okay? So maybe the meals get simpler, the laundry takes a little bit longer to get done, the house might be a little bit messier, and it starts to kind of affect the family. Now, what needs to happen is, is if, if the family becomes a little bit not supportive, it just means that the things that are happening are not convenient for them. Now, that doesn't make them negative Nancys, but it, it does make them kind of look like they're not understanding why you're doing this. So what needs to happen is at that point, it's time to sit the family down or speak with your husband, your wife, or your children, and let them know, you know, mommy or I need to take care of myself so that I can provide for you guys better. You know, people often think that taking care of yourself is selfish, when I think the complete opposite. If you're not taking care of yourself, if we are depressed, unhappy, we don't like how we look, we don't like how we feel, we barely function because we're so tired, because we lack um, nutrition in our lives and exercise, you know, how can we properly provide for others if we don't attend to ourselves first, okay? And that is nothing but the truth. That is probably why you started this. It's for, you know, leading by example for your children. Um, feeling better and having more energy so you can um, spend more time with your family instead of always being tired. You know, all of this comes down to, you know, when I take care of me, everything else will come together. So when you speak with your family members about that, they might become more understanding and supportive, which is usually the case because they care about you, you know, or maybe it takes a little bit more time to win them over. But as you start to improve, and get better and you start seeing your results and your family sees that your attitude is changing, they will come around, okay? And then there's those who really are negative Nancys, just full blown. And those are the people that attack you. They say, why are you doing this? You can't do this. Everything else you've tried, you've always failed, so why bother? Um, this eating healthy thing is stupid. How can you enjoy life? yada 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 okay those are the people who kind of internally know that they probably should be making these changes as well but don't for whatever reason okay we might have all been there where we're too lazy or we feel like we we feel like we don't have the time and we don't want to make time or we're just not quite ready yet to smell the roses and that's totally fine but you have smelled the roses okay and for anybody to judge you for making a positive change should tell you that it's not your fault, it's theirs, okay? They need to look in the mirror and reevaluate re why they are saying those things to you. Why wouldn't a friend or an acquaintance or anybody in your life be positive towards your positive changes? It only tells you that there is something lacking in their life. So I want you to know that it is never your fault. There's nothing wrong with getting healthy and fit. It's a very positive, uplifting thing. And if people don't want to see that, it's totally their problem. You're also going to have your friends who are going to invite you to dinners to, for cocktails, or you will actually go with them and have a salad, and they will push you into eating dessert, or they will push you into drinking or drinking more. And now I'm not saying those people aren't your friends because maybe they don't, again, just like with your family, maybe they don't understand what it is you're going through and this is a change you really need. But generally when people do that, it just means that 
you know, they don't want to feel guilty about them eating the cake or having all these drinks while you're making these changes in your life. So they want you to do it with them. And maybe without them even realizing that that's what sabotages you. So, um, again, then I would just explain it to them. Listen, I can't, okay? Like, I'm on this health and fitness journey to really better myself. And as a friend, I'm pretty sure you can understand that. If they don't understand that, then there might be a problem with the friendship. I have lost many, many friends because I chose to stay home because I'm finally taking care of my long-term goals and not my instant gratification. I have lost friends through that. Friends, okay? I was upset at first until I truly became happy with myself and know that this was the best thing I could have done for myself and anybody who didn't support that was never really my friend, okay? So I hope this was helpful for you guys. You know, it's important to always explain yourself to others and what it is you're going through to give them the chance to understand. Um, but if it's purely people who are doing it out of spite or, or who are unhappy with themselves and straight up attacking you, forget about them and let them go for sure, okay? So um, keep up the good work, you guys. And I'm always here for you. And I'm sure so is everybody else in the challenge. So um, take care and talk to you soon, okay? Bye-bye.